great to have you here. Almost everybody looks forward to going to church on the last day of the year. Depending on where you worship, it's called crossover, swish over, watch night service. Now people go to confess their sins and promise to live better lives in the coming year. Sam Singer Martin is the general overseer of the House of Miracles Ministry worldwide. He joins us via Skype for a discussion on this matter. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Thank you too. Uh, mm. What really is the relevance of 31st night in the life of a Christian? Uh, to me, the first night is a night of reflection you know, and also evaluation concerning your own life, the whole year, 28. But most of the time, a lot of people, you know, just talk about the excitement, mm -hmm. you know, concerning the 31st night. Instead of preparing for the coming year, so I, I, to me, first night should not be night of only the excitement. As everybody says, God has been faithful and God has us through the whole year. But the first night, night of reflection, uh, evaluating more life, you know, what you were able to achieve and what you could achieve, mm. the mistakes you did, and also trying to to cross over to the coming year. Mm. One, coming year is just a one day journey. It's a 365 day journey. People forget their preparation, focus only on the site in one hour. So it's a time of preparation. Okay. So, I mean, you said it's for reflection and preparation. One would say, I can do all this without going to church. So what's all the fuss about going for it to a church service on the 31st of December? You know, in, in, in preparing for a journey 365 days, or just even a journey to come up with but you need to commit it to the hands of God. So if it is a 365 days, then it's really fast, you know, so that God Will, will help the Almighty, you know, all as we So you need to commit your ways to God, not just understanding. At times we have own ideas and understand, and we need them. So to me, God is very important, and your environment of entertainment in life would mm. go up everything super and super. So where you be first night concerning is very important. That is why you need the house of God. That's God and with God. So, um, yeah, let me just say this, um, because yesterday was Sunday, and mm. a lot of Christians were in church. Today is a Monday, and someone will say, what's the relevance? What makes what I did yesterday different from what I'm going to do today on the 31st of December? No, because the 31st of December, it's the end of the year, the last day, that's the 31st, it's the last day of the year. And every time entering a seat, you must be able to commit ways to God, you know, to thank God number one for the whole year, what you're able to do. But number two, you must also go to the camp and cross over to the new season. Cross over to the new season is very important to the individual. Because when you go to the the next person to continue, you know, the, the journey. Now God said, anoint Aaron's ears, anoint Aaron's hand, anoint Aaron's feet. It, all these three things are what the individual needs to prepare for the coming year. Because if you are not able to hear from God, Make mistakes, wrong decisions, with wrong results. Not just enter your food as strong of today. There were people who started the year 2018 and buried them. It's not because they were more handsome, they were not they were more handsome than them. No, God spared your life. God has an assignment, new seats. So, the essence of the the last day of the year you be in church and praying to God, not everything about Christmas, but putting your ways 
so you know, you know, you know, you know a, a, a superior power to help you because man limited. So the essence of going to church or going to church that is very important, regardless of the they are they are able to get time. If, if they go in here, the pastor in church, you know, you need to commit to wish to God. If you can go to the place and work in, still have the time to pray. I believe that will teach you to God. And then God is very important. Mm. Uh, there's a lot more to discuss, but Prophet, we'll just ask you to kindly stay on for us. We've been speaking to some people on the streets uh, about, you know, really, uh, what's the relevance of 31st night is? It's going to be a moment of reflection. I'm going to reflect on all the good things I have achieved in 2018, all the um, targets I set for myself in the beginning of 2018, those I was, um, I was able to achieve and those which I tried but couldn't. But one way or the other, um, God has been good. He has been very good to me. So this night's church service is not going to be a normal service for me. Yeah, to me, it's going to be everything. I'm really going to dance. I actually don't like dancing on Sunday service, but this night, um, I'm going to dance. And I'm going to thank my God for what he has done for me. I would say it's a moment to reflect. Considering you have a calendar, which is a year that you have to do something within, and you've come to the end of it, it's a moment for you to reflect whether your goals and achievements you set in the course of the year, you've been able to achieve it. But for me, I'm not looking at the church service aspect of it. I just see it as the end of the year. So look at the uh, achievement you had planned for yourself, the goals, the target, and see if you achieved it. If not, work towards it into the next year and try and achieve it. Yeah. Oh, okay, every year and what it comes with. So we are, I'm quite prepared for 31st and tonight. As church service, I entreat everybody to go to church today. What has been going to you for 2019 is coming up, so please go to church, okay? Don't do this to God. I think it's a moment to reflect. And the Lord has done a lot. And if you're a Christian, uh, you want to reflect and give him thanks. Um, there may be ups and downs in a year, but he has sustained you up to now. People have not seen an opportunity like this. So if you are still alive and life is good and there's hope, you have to thank God. That's for that one. The first has not been the normal service, church service for me, because everybody sees that God has been so faithful. So the year has ended, and today being the last day, it's full of praise. I mean, it's a extraordinary day. I mean, it becomes unique because one has the cause to celebrate because one is alive. So for me, it's not just ordinary church service, but it's going to be a Thanksgiving service. to 2019 hooray and a lot of things have happened this year for some it was simply amazing it was so good for me i enjoyed it i enjoyed everything it was 2018 i hope 2019 will be so like that for us well a normal year just a, too much stress work tiredness too much for us but it always has been good and for others, it has not been the best at all. Actually, the year is very bad. If you say very bad, what do you mean? It's not good. There's no money in the system. There's no money in the system because the economy is very hard now. Nobody is getting money to do anything. On the streets today, I met Joseph Adamofield, who was excited about leaving work. I started my pension on the 20, 23rd uh, December last year. And throughout the period, I've been okay, I've been fine. There was no stress. I mean, I sleep well, I get up the time I like, and I do my exercises, you know, walking exercise and so on. No more waking up no, at no five. Waking up, you know, no stress. Samuel Atu says the banking crisis was one of the news that hit him and just cannot get over it. It's the way the banking system has collapsed. And the way we saw banking officials driven from office as if it was a coup d'etat. To me, as a Ghanaian, I feel it's bad. 
Security Officer Mike Ledu will also not forget this, and I'm sure most of us wouldn't. Like the way the, the um, some time ago, I learned the policeman, you know, beat a lady uh, at the bank. You know, it was some way some uh, really not good. But being a lady with a child, you should have because I'm a security guard. If something like that happens at the bank, I know how to talk to the clients. So I was really hurt that day. Being a police officer, you shouldn't have done such a thing to, you know, yes. But it all, it's been a good year. See you all in 2019. Interesting. There you had people reviewing 2018 and how it has been for them. And then earlier, those sharing with us the relevance of 31st night. Let's get back uh, onto our conversation with Prophet Samson. I'm watching this time rather on the telephone. Thank you so much for holding on, sir. Thank what you. what will make today's service in many uh, Christian denominations different from every other service? You know, um, to 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 uh, me personally, and also to my, our ministry, I concentrate on the decoration more than the excitement. You know, because as I said earlier on, mm. the excitement is just few hours, and you cross over. To a whole journey of 365 days, and a lot of people dance, which is good, you know, praise God, you know, for a long time, it's good. But we spend only a few time, you know, preparing ourselves to the coming year with, you know, the year full of issues, full of challenges, full of, you know, new things to do. So I, I build my people, and, you know, the people are connected to me, and I let them understand the need to really prepare themselves. Mm spiritually in, in, in order to face the challenges of the coming year because there will be years of there will be challenges. Not only a prophet to tell you that there will be challenges because challenges are part of life. But if you're able to prepare well, good preparation will give you good results. Mm. Lack of bad you know lack, lack of good preparation will give you bad results. So why not you prepare if you're traveling from here to America you take a long time to prepare mm. because it's a long journey. I'm not going from here to Kaswa. It will need a lot of preparation. But I believe that it is hard time that the church understands in order to prepare the members on that day to reflect on their lives, number one, and also to prepare how they can change their living conditions and also their lifestyle and everything that they are doing. So I, I focus more on uh, the preparation aspect. Mm. What would you like to tell those who may decide not to go to church today because they don't see the relevance of it. Okay, so those who come who really want to uh, go to church today, all that I can tell them is, uh, number one, I, 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 as I'm a Christian, I will recommend that, you know, the, the, the God factor is very important and they should start thinking about that. But if they don't because of one way or the other, they don't want to go to church, they need to prepare themselves, especially concerning these three major things, even the Bible declared, as I declared earlier on, in the book of uh, Leviticus 8, 23, that Moses commissioned them that anoint their tongues, their ears, and their toes. Their tongues to represent, you, without your tongue, you cannot hold anything family. So in the coming years, there will be opportunities. There will be a lot of, you know, good things, but you, you should be able to maintain it or to have it and so that you don't lose it. Mm. So the, 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 the essence of you praying to God and God, I really want to, to, to help me that whatever I, I will get in 2019, I will not lose it. People have lost their jobs this year. People have lost friends, lost relationships, lost a lot of opportunities because they didn't prepare themselves towards mm. that. So as a pastor and also a prophet, I believe that, you know, pray to God that God should fix your hands, your spiritual hands, both your physical, because whatever your hand find to do, you must do it well, but you must get results. Your ear is concerning listening and what we call hearing. Mm. God will not give you billions of dollars or billions of cities, but God will just give you an idea, and that idea will translate or produce the money. Bill Gates did not get money from heaven. My Bill Gates got an idea of just a chip, and now he's a billionaire. So you're, 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 you're focusing on God, please. I want to dedicate my ears that in the coming year, God gives me ideas that can generate or that can build my life. You know, some people make mistakes only because of wrong ideas and whatever they are hearing. People are busy because they heard something that they should just pick something, go and kill mm. somebody, and they mm. landed in prison. But good ideas will give you good results. So I believe that as you are not even going to church, 
said these are physical things the ordinary person you need to prepare yourself because you use your hand to work your ears to hear not just only physical things but at least there's mm. a go factor you know that we have to be able to say what is BB is God who is talking to you and sure. somebody is going to sit in a car and all of a sudden that car is supposed to get an answer no money of God is there no prophet of God is there but at least BB has said oh let me leave the car you leave you left the car and the car got an accident so you must dedicate your ears to God mm. just give me an idea only one idea that can change my life and also sure. concerning the ghost that is why Jesus had to wash the disciples feet when they were crossing over when Jesus was about to leave them because signifying that you know their feet they are going to go to the new season but for the new season they must get speed so God spoke to Moses and anoint their toes not just their toes but their great toes because with your great toe if you if your great toe is cut off your whole life is suspended on your toes mm. so if, when your toe is cut off it lowers your speed in life God is a God of speed God created the whole world in six days including you oh yes you are saying that you are not going to change yes yes but at the end of the day that God created the whole world in six days so God is a God of speed and God mm. expects everybody to 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 go to, to go on with speed okay you know, they, uh, uh, prophet Samson and Martin I'll come back to you but I want to get other perspectives or another perspective to uh, 31st watch night services and their relevance. I've been joined by Daniel Amwating. He is um, General Overseer of the Power of Worship International. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Great to have you. What do you make of 31st night watch services or watch night services across the country and how relevant is it? Great. Um, uh, we bless God for this wonderful time and uh, that all of us, we've been able to see the um, last day of the year, you know, being at the last part of the year or the last day of the year is important. Number one, it's a night of thanksgiving. That's the most important thing, a night of thanksgiving. You are blessing God. If you check the whole year, most of the things that have happened in our world has been, um, been mind-blowing, some crazy stuff and also some wonderful things. So all of them, God has been able to keep us safe and preserve us. So 31st, we go to church to bless the name of the Lord. That's why you see a lot of people wearing all white as a sign of thanksgiving. Because the nation of Ghana alone, as of yesterday, the number of new children that, that were born for the whole year was around 967,000 new babies born. The number of people that died in Ghana as of yesterday was about 267,000. So you see that 267,000 people died. 967,000 new children were born. So you bless God that please, you're not part of the 267 that died. And also, God has been able to increase our number because the ones that were born were more than the ones that died, the sign of Thanksgiving. And the total number of people that died in Ghana through accidents for around 2,000, um, uh, 2,076 people, which means about eight people die every day from lorry accidents. So we bless God for the last day of the year. Mm. Now, as blessing God for the last day of the year, you also prepare yourself, fortify yourself, and you know you release God's protection because you can have the best driver in the world to drive you, but if accident is coming, the driver cannot save you. It takes the grace at the hand of God. So 31st of December, the really why the reason why it's important after that is that you tell God that God let your mercy, let your protection, let your deliverance, let your deliverance keep me and preserve my life mm. in Jesus' name, so that if there is any evil, any evil plot designed against you, because. Whilst, you know, you can be a person with good mindset, you love people, you care about people, but you don't know the people who don't like you. Mm. Let me just come in quickly to ask, do you necessarily need to be in a church to be able to do all that you've mentioned? What you, you just asked me is very important. The reason why you're supposed to be in church, a church is called the assembly, ecclesia, you know, the assembly of God's people. So if we are together and we worship together, I think it's important because even Jesus Christ, who was the Son of God, when he came, the Bible says every now and then he was in the synagogue. The synagogue was the place of prayer, was the church. So it's Jesus Christ that we are following. If Jesus Christ never found himself in church, then we could have always been at home. But mm. Jesus was always in the synagogue. Synagogue is the Jewish name for the Jewish temple. So as Christians, I think it's very good for us to be in church. I know some, somebody will go and celebrate it in the club. Somebody will go for a, 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 um, some fireworks. But as a Christian, you've got to be in the church. 
to church is important for you to go to this ordinances that mm. I just spoke about. So you know the you know the world we live in now. Uh, yes. it's, it's it's quite difficult, and I know that you are well traveled. So what yes. about those who cannot make it to church because of work and other commitments? Those, those How do they benefit from uh, these things that happen in churches on the 31st? That's great, yeah. Uh, my church in London right now, London Prayer Centre, every now and then when we are having calls over, some members are not able to come because they work in the hospital and they, and they, and they will not be available. If you can't get to church, just be wherever you are, at home or at work, you know, while sitting in front of the computer, just thank God, God, and thank you for a, a, a great year um, that you protected me and keep me and protect me for the coming year. So if you cannot go to church the newly, you are not at fault. It's not a problem because God knows your heart. But if you have the opportunity and the access to be in church, why not? You've got to be there. Mm. So th there, there are some things that happen in most churches, especially charismatic ones, yeah. Um, that are symbolic. For example, the, the communion is, is shared and taken, and you have anointing services also uh, happening. Let me just throw this question to uh, something I'm watching, rather. How do you benefit if you're not in church and there's communion and there's anointing service and you're not there? Yeah, but thank you so much. Um, as my brother uh, clearly uh, declared and um, spoke about right now, there are people who cannot go to church and uh, are working. What they are doing too is very important to mankind. So if you cannot be in church service right after you close, you can still do it, you know, because you all understand your situation and your condition that you find yourself. So you can still do it. The essence is you must understand what you are doing. That is all of that. It's very important. The Bible says that my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. And the Bible says you may know the truth and the truth that sets you free. So to me, it's about you knowing you know, the truth or the meaning of what you are doing. There are people who will be in church service, but they don't even understand what they are doing. They are taking communion, but they don't even understand it. So they will not get any blessing. I believe that whatever we do in the house of God or as a people, you must be able to understand it. So you are at work, right after work, you can just do it, but just get the understanding so you can get the blessing. So it, it's more about the understanding, you knowing the truth, and the truth will set to free. But a lot of people, you know, it, it will just go because of, as you rightly said, the communion or the poverty they will receive. It's very important to, at least, you know, to know the mind of God about the coming year. I, I, I personally believe that one of the major things you need to know that can help you on the first line is knowing something you didn't know before that can change you and give you a new resource. To me, that is the best thing that can happen to any of us because if you continue to do the same thing every day and then you will still repeat the same mistakes and the same things. But if your life has changed, I believe that God on 31st night is the last night of a year I'm crossing over. I want to know something I don't know. As a man of God, as a woman of God, as a Christian, to me that's more symbolic. Mm. Let me ask the same question. Uh, let me ask you, Daniel, I'm asking the same question. Uh, if, I, if I can't make it to work, how do I benefit, um, for example, from communion uh, practically? and anointing service. Yes, if you cannot make it to have benefit from the communion and all these property tokens, very good. Wherever you are, you'll be able to do it. Maybe you are to work, you have your communion with you, you plot the communion and declare the, the wine is the blood of Jesus. Father, let your blood cover me, you see the body of Christ. Let your body become the body of Christ so that every infirmity, every sickness, every disease against you, may God help you. If you have a bottle of olive oil, you anoint yourself. These prophetic directions are not supposed to be only done in the church. You can do it anywhere, everywhere. You can even do it in the vehicle. It's about your faith behind it. Somebody will be in the church and will do it. Nothing will happen because they don't even believe. Maybe somebody even dragged them to the church. Uh, they were very, very skeptical about what happened. But if you have the faith and you even do it in the house, I believe for sure that something will happen. Because mm -hmm. prophetic tokens are very important before we enter into a new year. Before the people of Israel, they have to cross the... Um, Red Sea. The Bible says, and 
well, Moses used the rod. The rod was a token. You know, how can you just use a stick to open a red sea? Uh, it doesn't make sense, but that's what a prophetic for kids. Jesus healed a blind person by his saliva. It's crazy. It, you know, it, 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 um, you can never find it anywhere. But God uses some symbol, and through that symbol, miracles will happen. He makes this with the dead or the stand, and all mm-hmm. of a sudden, the, the miracle. He even said to the person, now go and wash your eyes at the pool of Stelium. And after washing the eyes, there was a miracle. So prophetic directions for you to move forward is very, very important. Another form of crossover prophetic direction is when the people of Israel, after Moses left, there was prophet Joshua who came to take over. Now, Joshua's time, they had to meet the Jordan. God said to Joshua, Moses used the rod, but for you, don't use the rod. That's what I want you to do. When you stand in front of the Jordan, take your right foot, step in the water. When you step in the water, the water will go backwards. Truly and behold, he used the right foot, step in the water, and the waters opened, and all of them entered. After they entered, God said to him, when you have entered into the Jordan, take 12 stones from the river and give it to all the tribe of the people of Israel as a remembrance that God worked a miracle for them. Some of these things physically, they don't make sense. But because you are following the grace of God, the power of God, you follow these ordinances and great things begin to happen. So you can do your direction anywhere that you are. And I know that God will give you the result. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Samsung and Daniel Amuating. They, they've been sharing with us um, their thoughts on the relevance of 31st night. I know you do also have your views, and hopefully if you are one who doesn't believe, maybe they've been able to convince you.